Hello YouTubers, Audio Tom here. Got myself a, a new toy. This is the Dayton Audio IMM6 calibrated measurement microphone. Uh, this is what uh, a calibrated microphone is what you use to um, analyze your audio system, either the whole room or an individual speaker. And calibrated means that it, it'll have a file that you put into your software that uh, tells the software exactly what the frequency response of this actual individual microphone is. Because uh, just like your speaker, microphones, sound cards, everything has, have their own frequency response and you have to compensate for that frequency response in the software in order for it to uh, basically be a flat frequency response. So if it has a spike in a particular frequency, it'll tell the audio, uh, the analyzing software to uh, reduce that peak by that amount, or so I assume. Uh, but let's have a look here, see what it is. Now, comes in a little tin, suitable for sardines and microphones. And this is it. Now this model here, I bought this because it was cheaper. It's actually designed to go into um, your cell phone. So you can sit in your car and analyze your, your car's audio, make it portable. Uh, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to use it in my laptop and I'll go through how to do that because they don't mention anything about using this with a laptop. So they strictly marketed for for using it with a self. Now I want to talk a minute about uh, proper application. Like I said, this is made for use on a cell phone, but I'm going to show you how you can use it on a computer. Now if you noticed, two different plugs here. This one here is called uh, TRRS. Uh, I think it's tip, ring, ring. I don't know what the S stands for. And this one is TRS. And what it has is uh, it goes uh, the tip and the first ring are the left and right for the headphone. This is actually ground here. And then this last ring is microphone. That can be different in different countries. Um, other countries have it go microphone, then ground. And whereas on this one here, it's left, right, and then ground, depending if, you know, it doesn't matter if it's a, if it's a headphone or a stereo microphone, it would be the same. Now on my laptop, <clears throat> I have a compo uh, composite jack. So that has the microphone and the headphone combined into one jack, same as on the cell phones. If your laptop has two separate jacks, one for the microphone, one for the headphone, it doesn't preclude you from using this. Like I said, this, this, this calibrated microphone is marketed not for computers at all. It's strictly marketed for cell phones, but that doesn't mean you can't use it, as I will show you. Now, if you have two separate jacks on your laptop, you're going to need a Y adapter like this. This is not the correct one, but just to tell you, so you're going to have um, basically one jack on the end, whereas I got one plug. So you would plug your microphone into the splitter and you got to make sure it's a splitter and not just a Y adapter, which mean, would mean that it's splitting into the same thing on two plugs. If it's dividing it so that there's a microphone and a headphone as separate jacks, or in your case, you would want separate plugs, uh, there usually be two different colors. So you'll have one of these on this end that takes a TRRS and then you will have two of these on the other end which are TRS and it would be marked uh, for left for microphone and for headphone the only thing you would plug into 
<clears throat> would be you would plug your microphone in here and then you would plug this microphone end that's going to be on the other end that would go into your computer the headphone one you don't plug in why is that because it is just a pass through there's no need to go through here you would want to go directly from your headphone jack on here directly out to your stereo if you're like me and you have the composite jack this microphone actually acts as a Y adapter so um, it connects up the microphone but the headphone jack just passes through and you would plug in your extension cable and go out to your stereo for the test tone and I'll be reviewing with you why that is uh, later on basically the software generates the test tone that it has to measure it's not like you can have a separate CD playing the test tone and I mean you could but it would not be accurate okay so for this first test I'm gonna go directly into the PC and when you first plug in let's get up here you're gonna have this dialog box show up and you want to click headset that way it will know that there is a TRRS plug plugged into it and that it's a microphone and two audio outputs you know one for left one for right and you hit OK now I'm gonna plug my TRS extension cable into the microphone and the other end I'll plug into the input on my receiver the next step will be at least on room equalization wizard which is free software uh, I'll, I'll put a link down below for that so you can have easy access to it uh, you have to get your calibration file which your microphone comes with a serial number and then down here calibration files uh, after you download that text file which is your calibration file you would click on there and you would just link in this box for the microphone sound card I have to calibrate that yet I'm going to, have to get a Y adapter and jump through some hoops but I'm not going to go into the various ins and outs as far as room equalization wizard there's a lot of videos out there to help you with that I think that would be getting off topic I'm just going to give you the demo on this microphone and one little caveat that you need to watch out for okay so now let's do a quick test I'm going to I already checked my levels I'm going to leave uh, put the length at one meg zero repetitions and we'll hit start Okay, that is the measurement of my Klipsch RP160M. And I'm just going to go up here to... Go to... We're going to do one-third smoothing. And then we are going to hit our limits. And we'll fit data to the screen. So the red gives me the frequency response of the speaker. Now I'm going to do the next test. Now my concern with this microphone plugged into a laptop is that it may pick up the sound of the cooling fan. So I got an extension cable which is uh, six feet long. Sorry about that. I'm going to just plug 
the microphone into the extension cable and plug that into the PC. I should get a dialog box again. Click OK for headset. And I am simply going to, so the readings will be most close to accurate. I'm still going to, I'm just going to place the microphone right there near its original position. Okay. So now let's do a second test. Hit measure. And we'll hit start. And let's go to one-third smoothing again. And let's compare the two. Well, look at that. I get a better frequency response with the extension cable over just plugging the microphone in there. Sounds good, doesn't it? Well, let's do one more test. And we'll see what we really have here when using the extension cable. So now I'm going to hit measure. But before I hit start, I'm going to turn off the receiver. So now we're going to have a long period of silence as this does its measurement because the receiver is off. Okay, did you hear anything? I sure as hell didn't. Let's switch to that. Graph, one-third smoothing. What is this? I didn't hear that. Did you hear that? Compare all sound pressure levels. So the blue line is the one we just did with the receiver turned off, and that is crosstalk. Yes, from here on up, it starts picking up. Basically, since the uh, the within the wires here, all wrapped together, you got the microphone and two headphone wires, and the headphones have the audio signal running through them. It is bleeding right through the insulation and looping back into the system. So, if you want an accurate reading forget about using an extension cable. In fact, I, I searched through Amazon endlessly trying to find um, a cable that was acceptable. This one made a lot of big claims and obviously it falls short. Um, this is horrible crosstalk. Uh, personally, if, if you were using this in a, in a in a meeting or something as an extension, um, you'd be getting audio looping back through through your um, you know, Skype or whatever session. Um, so this is, this is useless. If you want an accurate reading, you can't use this extension cable. Now, if you wanted to use an extension cable and get away from the crosstalk, if your laptop or your PC has a separate uh, microphone and headphone jack, you're in luck. Because then what you will need is you'll need a splitter to split off the microphone into two separate things and just plug the microphone into the, uh, into the mic jack of the PC and the headphone 
end on the splitter, you just wouldn't use it all. You, you wouldn't plug into that at all. There's, there's no need for it. And that would allow you to uh, extend it as far as you want or, or a pretty good distance. Uh, in my case, I would need a splitter on the PC and a splitter on the microphone and just use the one leg off the microphone to go into the mic input on the computer's splitter and then the computer's headphone audio output splitter that would run directly to the receiver it would not go to the microphone at all that would that should alleviate any crosstalk that I would be getting from that one and here's the reason why I bought this microphone I'm going to do an experiment to see if I can take these 1980s uh, component techniques, component speakers. They sound pretty bad. And for just a few dollars, upgrade them and make them sound like something respectable. And for that experiment, I figured, well, why don't I actually do some genuine measurements so we can compare before and after as well as, of course, uh, play some audio files so you can judge for yourself. Um, if that's something you're interested in, I will be making a video on that and posting that, uh, hopefully within the next month or two. Uh, please uh, sh subscribe so you get notice for when that comes out. Okay, so that's my review of the Dayton Audio IMM6 calibrated microphone. It's not just for cell phones. Perfectly works perfectly fine on a computer. Uh, if you like my video, please like, share, and please subscribe. Uh, like I'd mentioned before, I will be doing the makeover on that other speaker, and I think it's gonna be kind of an interesting project. Uh, if it's something you'd like to see, hit the subscribe button, and you'll get notice uh, when that video drops. So thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.